and alert all day so that you can enjoy Thanksgiving with your family instead of losing off in the recliner after overeating or God forbid fall asleep driving which happens four people dying every hour on US roads every hour four people die on US roads and two of them are because of drowsy driving and Thanksgiving being the busiest travel holiday we need to make sure we sleep well. So how do we sleep well? I'm going to just blurt out a list of things one can do. One, go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends, even on holidays. Because the brain has an internal clock which likes the rhythm. So don't fight with it. Don't fight Mother Nature. Do that even on Saturday and Sunday. That's number one. Number two, don't take naps in the evening. Watching television, evening news, I can see that. <laughs> I saw that. If you doze off even for 10 minutes, you are depriving yourself of deep sleep at night. So you are getting light sleep at the expense of deep sleep. That's a bad investment. So don't do that. Just get up and move. If you are tired after a long day's work, just get up and move. Right? So same time, go to bed and wake up every night, even on weekends. Two, no naps. Three, no caffeine after 1 p.m. See that? <laughs> Caffeine has a duration of action of 24 hours. And even if you fall asleep after having a cup of coffee or Mountain Dew, it's going to rob you of your deep sleep. I have patients telling me all the time that Dak, I can have a strong cup of coffee and I go to bed and I fall asleep just like a baby. Not quite. You can fall asleep but you will not get the deep sleep. So, no caffeine after 1 p.m. And no alcohol within three hours of bedtime. Look at that, haven't you? Okay. When I used to say that, people, especially my friends, would get mad, upset, argue with me. So I changed my message. Instead of saying that don't drink within three hours of bedtime, I told them that drink early. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. You start drinking at five o'clock, you stop drinking at seven, go to bed at 10, it's a wonderful life. <laughs> that you can do, right? What alcohol does, it puts you to sleep, but it robs you of your deep sleep. Deep restorative stage three and the rapid eye movement ramps in. It robs you of that. So don't do that. You can start drinking at five, you can blame it on me. <laughs> Get 20 to 30 minutes of exercise every day. That improves your deep sleep percentage. 20 to 30 minutes of exercise every day improves our deep sleep percentage. In old days, our ancestors, when they worked harder, they slept better because they needed more sleep as they worked harder. Now, we sit at the desk, and when we work harder, our body is not ready to fall asleep, but our mind is. So get 20 to 30 minutes of exercise every day, that way, you get much, much, much deeper sleep. Then don't take laptops or smartphones to bed. Bed is for sleeping. By the way, I, 21 years ago when I started uh, Sleep Center, I was giving a talk um, to our colleagues in the hospital. And I told them uh, that, hey, use the bedroom 
only for sleep. And I still remember the face of that nurse. So she raises her hand from the back and she says, Doc, when, where else can we do the other thing? <laughs> <laughs> I modified it. I said, use the bedroom only for sleep and sex. <laughs> but not for working. And don't take the smartphones. It's so tempting. They get better and better and better, but that interrupts your sleep onset. It delays your sleep onset. And it associates bedroom and the bed and the whole experience with work and worrying and thinking. How many likes did I have on my Facebook post? Or, or did somebody send me a bad message? Or did she ignore me? Or did he ignore me? Yeah, don't do that. So keep the laptops out. No TV, of course, in the bedroom. Right? No TV in the bedroom. On my Twitter account, there was a question by a young lady. She sent me a question saying that she had a dream that snakes were coming out of her mouth. And what it meant. My belief is that she probably saw something on Netflix or somewhere. There is a TV show which has three girls sitting with a snake coming out of the mouth of those three girls. So when you see something like that, turn the light off and go to sleep, that's what is going to happen. Because the dreaming stage of sleep, the rapid eye movement of sleep, is the most active state of our existence. Not wakefulness. The rapid eye movement sleep, the dreaming stage of sleep, is the most active state of our existence. We may not remember our dreams, but it's going on all the time. So what you went to bed with is what's going to happen there all night long. So sometimes even after eight hours of sleep, you may wake up tired because of the negative emotions that you went to bed with. So no work-related stuff, no TV, no smartphone, no caffeine, no alcohol. Then you can have sound sleep. And you should have a cool, comfortable, quiet bedroom, which is easy to do, cool, comfortable, quiet bedroom, dark. So those are the things you can do to maximize sleep so that you can maximize alertness the next day and you can enjoy the holidays. I'm going to have a quick show of hands now before I sit down here. We'll take questions after that. So one who has a regular wake, sleep and wakefulness time all week. Anybody? Quite a few. No naps in the evening or afternoon. Quite a few. Caffeine, none, no caffeine after one. Okay. Exercise 20 minutes to 30 minutes a day. Okay. No TV in the bedroom. Great. Praying before bedtime. <clears throat> Great. Now the toughest question. Who raised hand to all the questions? Nobody? Who promises to do all that? <laughs> the reason I ask is I, I wanted to give a gift of my book to somebody who raised the hand in answer to all the questions. So nobody did that. So now I'm going to reserve it for the person who asks the best question to the panel. <laughs> but you know the physicians, when you go to see your physicians, even after you ask questions a couple of times, we don't answer the questions straightforward, right? So we're not going to say anything unless you ask the questions. So I'm going to sit down and uh, please direct your questions to all three of us. And happy holidays, Merry Christmas, drive safe on Thanksgiving and other holidays. Thank you.